The view of the United States from satellite is very snowy. 59.7% of the country was covered with snow on Thursday. That's the most snow cover in a single day so far this season. More than all of last winter, but nowhere near the record. 73.2% of the country was covered with snow on February 16, 2021. That's the most snow cover in a single day since NOAA started tracking this data in 2003. That was the polar vortex intrusion that blanketed Texas with ice and crippled the western power grid for days. The entire state of Colorado on Thursday was almost completely covered with snow. Percentages are not available by state, but the slider shows this January compared to last year. And the bulk of this winter's snow cover has been sitting on the ground for more than a month. That's what makes this winter so unusual. All this snow visible on satellite also makes the spots that don't have snow stick out a little bit more than they would in a normal year. Like this spot that meteorologists call the Pueblo Snow Hole, the one true banana belt in Colorado. The reason for this warmer and drier spot is a result of wind direction. Winter winds in Colorado usually come from the west, the north, and sometimes the south. While the Pueblo area is sheltered from all those wind directions by higher terrain, that forces the air to sink into Pueblo instead of rise. And you need air to rise to get snow clouds. To get good snow in Pueblo, there has to be a wind direction almost straight out of the east. And that's the least common wind direction in Colorado. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. And the key wind direction really is northeast, which is very common direction for storms around here. And while that keeps Pueblo warm and dry, it's actually one of the more favorable wind directions for big snow in the Denver area.